Today's video is about a famous Buddhist story of a young monk named Sami who learned the art of never quitting from a lotus flower. In the hills of a remote Buddhist monastery, there lived a young monk named Sami. Sami was known for his unwavering dedication to his spiritual practice and his gentle demeanor. However, even the most of those souls encounter moments of doubt and weariness. One sweltering afternoon, as the sun beat down upon the monastery, Sammy found himself seated by a lotus pond. The lotus flowers, admired for their resilience and beauty, swayed in the breeze. Sammy watched as one lotus, in particular, stood out, a solitary bloom struggling to emerge from the murky waters. Intrigued by the sight, Sammy approached the pond and observed the lotus more closely. He noticed that despite the obstacles, it faced the murky waters and the limited sunlight. The lotus remained determined to reach the surface and bloom. As Sammy sat in meditation, he found his mind wandering to his own struggles. Lately, he had been grappling with doubts about his spiritual journey. He felt as if the path was too difficult, the obstacles too daunting. The thought of quitting crossed his mind, leaving him disheartened. Just then, the elderly abbot of the monastery, a wise and compassionate soul, joined Sammy by the lotus pond. Sensing Sammy's internal turmoil, the abbot spoke softly, Sammy, observe the lotus before you. It faces challenges that could easily deter its growth, yet it persists. The lotus's journey from darkness to light reflects our own journey in seeking enlightenment. Sammy listened intently as the abbot continued. When you feel like quitting, remember the lotus. Like it, you too must persevere through the muddiness of doubt and the shadows of uncertainty. The path to enlightenment is not without its struggles, but it is through these very struggles that we learn and grow. Sammy felt a deep resonance with Abbott's words. He realized that his doubts were natural, but they didn't have to define his journey. With renewed determination, he decided to embrace the challenges as opportunities for growth. Days turned into weeks, and Sammy threw himself back into his meditation and spiritual practices with newfound vigor. Whenever doubt crept in, he would recall the image of the lotus, its graceful rise from the depths of the pond, and Abbott's wise words. As time passed, Sasti's dedication and resilience began to bear fruit. His meditation sessions became more profound and a sense of inner peace settled within him. He started to perceive the obstacles as essential components of his journey, not barriers to his progress. One morning, as Sammy sat in meditation beneath a body tree, he experienced a profound moment of clarity. He felt a deep connection to all living beings and a sense of unity with the universe. The doubts that once clouded his mind seemed distant and insignificant compared to the vastness of his spiritual awakening. With a heart full of gratitude, Sammy sought out the abbot and shared his experience. The abbot smiled warmly and said, The lotus teaches us that even in the murkiest of waters, we can find our way to clarity and light. Just as the lotus blooms when the time is right, so does your wisdom and insight. From that day forward, Sammy continued his journey with steadfast determination, embracing the challenges that came his way. The image of the resilient lotus remained etched in his heart, a constant reminder that even in the darkest moments, the potential for growth and transformation exists. And so, the story of Sammy, the young monk, who found strength in the lotus's resilience 
became a source of inspiration for generations to come, reminding all who heard it that when you feel like quitting, it's precisely the moment to persevere and rise above the obstacles that lie in your path. We have all been there at some point in our lives. Whether it's a personal or professional goal, there are times when we feel like giving up. It can be due to a number of reasons. We may feel overwhelmed, discouraged, or just plain tired. We may doubt our abilities, question our decisions, or feel like we are not making progress fast enough. When we feel like quitting, it's easy to focus on the obstacles and challenges that we face. However, we should also remember that every obstacle is an opportunity to learn, to grow, and to become better. Every challenge we overcome brings us one step closer to achieving our goal. When you feel like quitting, remember why you started. Instead of quitting, you shushu, pausing everything related to the project that is causing you so much frustration. One of the reasons you may feel like quitting is because you want relief from the pressures, stress, or disappointments associated with the project. Believe in your ability to learn, grow, and adapt. Reflect on behaviors that aren't serving you well. Quit what isn't working. Focus on what is. Believe in your ability to learn, grow, and adapt. If you are having trouble staying motivated or disciplined, you should think about why you are doing something. Thinking about the bigger picture reminds you of the value of the smaller task that you are working on now. The thing is, you are not stopping you from reaching your dreams, not really. The only thing stopping you from reaching your dreams is the sabotaging part of yourself. The one that's always whispering at you to stop you from following your dreams and turn to doubt them inside you. It can be tempting to follow this voice, but when has it ever served you? Create a positive distraction and practice self-compassion. If you found this video helpful, do not forget to like, subscribe, and share it with others who may benefit from these insights. Together, let us embark on a journey of self-improvement and create a positive impact on our lives and the lives of those around us. Thank you.